Hi, I'm Firas. You may know me from the TikTok series Ich bin Firas uh, for Study Germany. Currently it's 2023 and I'm in my sixth semester, one more semester left to graduate in business informatics uh, or Southwest Falia University of Applied Sciences. Um, Germany has been treating me very well, had a lot of experiences. My experiences in Germany here has been beyond my expectations and I'm looking forward to what it has to offer well, when I start my master's degree um, or if, even if I start working here. So yeah, I'm currently also working as a working student here um, part-time. So it's about 20 hours a week. I roughly get about 1,300 euros a month. Um, so that's enough to cover all of my monthly expenses. So everything is covered in that 1,300 and I have some extra, which uh, I, I do a bit of investing as well. What strikes me as a bit odd here in Germany that in Malaysia is that in Germany, if you have reached your 20 hour working limit per week, you are asked to stop working and you cannot do any extra hours because extra hours cost more so they don't want to pay you that much. In terms of food, I usually cook my meals, lunch, dinner, dinner I cook pasta, for lunch I cook nasi bujang, so uh, white rice with eggs and soy sauce. So that's that's the go-to because I don't have much time to, to cook in the day, but at night I have some time to cook at home. So I. I cook pasta sometimes. On weekends, sometimes if I meet friends, I would dine out and probably splurge out about, I'd say 40 euros max per week for dining out. So my groceries usually consist of cereal, oat milk, that's a bunch of different varieties here. There's soy, soy milk and whatsoever. When I buy meat, for example, I would just do, usually go to the local grocery store. And if I want to know if it's halal or not, I can just look at it online and check at the check the manufacturer or the producer, whether they have a halal certificate. If they do, I would buy those meats. Very cheap pre-made meals that all you need to do is just put it in the microwave. Those are the things that I usually buy when I go grocery shopping. Other than that, the normal juices and some desserts. I would really encourage people in Malaysia to, to come and experience Germany. My experiences here over the past four years have been incredible. Um, I've integrated with the people very well. I play badminton at a club um, at the 60 level and they're all around 40, 30 years old and I hang out with them. They also ha invite me to come hang out with them for like Christmas parties or whatever. Yeah, um, and all my friends are really nice. They encourage me very well. Um, if I don't do well, they would then actually invite me to go over for coffee and we'll talk about it or probably we'll do a productive session together. And all the professors and lecturers as well, they're very nice. When asked for questions, I can just email them and they will then give, give out a comprehensive piece of advice, so to say. The football scene here is fun, a nice experience. And you need to experience the trains here. The trains here are really stressful. They never come on time. It's a love-hate relationship because I love it because it helps me to go everywhere, but I hate it because of that. All of those experiences, all of those emotions, it will help you in becoming, it will shape you into becoming a better person. And so, yeah, come and experience Germany.